C343 Chromatography Spinach Lab. This video will focus on thin layer chromatography and how to carry out effectively in a C343 organic laboratory. So what I've done already is I've prepared a solution uh, in 70-30 hexanes acetone of spinach pigment and I will be running that on a TLC plate in order to separate the pigments inside of it. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is get a TLC plate, and I already have one prepared. You can see this uh, tall rectangular plate has two sides, a opaque silica side and a shiny plastic side. Everything that we do on this plate, we will do on the silica side and we will not be using the plastic side. So the first thing I need to do is mark where I'm going to put my spot on this TLC plate. So I'm going to draw a small line, one centimeter above the bottom, and extend that across the entire plate. Okay, now that that's prepared, I will be spotting my pigment solution onto the uh, TLC plate. And for that, I have this small glass capillary that I can use to draw up some solution from this mixture. You can see it is in the actual solution, in the actual capillary. And I'm going to spot it just by gently pressing the glass uh, capillary against the plate in short bursts. So there's one. And we really want to see the spots here, so I'm going to do this a couple more times. And in between each time, I'm going to wait for it to dry. Alright, that should be enough. Now that that's prepared, I will be preparing my TLC chamber, which is this glass jar right here. It should have a lid, it should have, uh, and it should have 7030 hexane acetone, that's my eluding solvent, uh, half a centimeter above the bottom. So I've, I've done this already. See here, just about half a centimeter. It just has to be below the spot that I've made on my plate. And so now that that's prepared, I'll be putting a small piece of filter paper that I folded in half. And I'll be placing it against the sides of this TLC chamber. And the important thing for this is to make sure that all the sides of the filter paper are placed flush against the sides of the chamber. Okay, so now that that's prepared, I'm ready to immerse my TLC plate in the solvent. So I'm going to take this pair of forceps, hold the TLC plate by the top of it, and place it in the solution carefully. And then lean it against the side of the TLC chamber. Then I'm going to put the lid on, and let that develop. Three and five minutes. We're waiting for the solvent line to reach the top of the TLC plate. Okay, so it looks like our TLC plate has developed, so I'm going to open up the chamber, grab it by the top with my forceps, take it out, and I'm going to quickly take my pencil and mark the point that the solvent has reached. This tells me where my solvent front is. Uh, now I'm going to take, uh, find each of my spots and carefully outline them so I can find them more easily. There's one at the top here. Here's one small one. Here's one more. There's one here. There's another one. Here's one more. So it's important to note that this is a uh, mixture of pigments and the uh, spots that you guys will be doing is hopefully isolated pigments. So you'll only see one of these spots when you spot your uh, fractions from here. But this is a good uh, indication of what all sort of pigments are inside these spinach uh, compounds. 
Um, anything else? All right.